All right, fellas, here we are back in Pokemon Masters. We're going to the release of Avery. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, right. Avery and Slowking. <laughs> oh, my God. Avery and Galarian Slowking. Uh, they're releasing alongside the event story event Isle Disciples. It's Irina Tycoon came out yesterday along with Clara, right? Um, Clara was a great Poison Tech character, right? She, well, basically Striker, but, like, you know, Poison Damage Dealer, amazing at that job. Avery is a unit in the game of all time yeah um he's not bad uh, i mean it's pretty hard to release an outright bad unit nowadays like a limited one rather but he's really weird he's got a lot he can do which is nice but the synergy is question <laughs> questionable to say the least so let's just get into it i guess he's a field sync pair with the techie x roll not a bad combination he's psychic dark week he drops on the 14th leaves august 7th again about three weeks to pull for him which is fine um average theme skills you know whatever <laughs> it exists uh and then his stats he's got 655 health 312 attack which doesn't matter uh 448 special attack which is good 163 defense 185 special defense and 282 speed only real eyeball stat is 448 in the special attack which is good right at 6 star AX, his HP is obviously 755, his defenses go to over 200, special attack is 488, which is really good, speed is 322, which is fine, and then the Techie X-Roll, of course, giving plus 20 to all those stats, with plus, what, 60 to health, good HP, solid defenses, pretty good special defense, frankly, Five, over 500 special attack, which is great, and then 322 speed, and level 150 even helps that out even more, so with full investment, he's got good stats in, you know, all departments, he's not like a tank, but he can have some defensive utility i guess or defensive ability rather uh and you know it's all i really, really need to say he's got good offense which is probably the most notable one i guess not really <laughs> with this kit but whatever uh looking at his moves he's got eerie spell which is a four gauge 160 minimum power psychic move does no additional effects it's just a psychic damage dealing move cool i think it's isn't this move limited to like the slow bro line or is it or like um slow kings glaring slow king specifically or something i don't remember either way it's a solid psychic damaging option he's got uh, galar analysis which i think is the defensive galar circle or is it the special one uh yeah it's a special one so it applies special moves next to uh, all allies it applies the galar circle special effect and the more galar allies the more you know boosts the circle's output up to uh 40 percent special uh power up and 14 percent special damage reduction so good special attacking supportive ability right not too shabby uh, he's also got his trainer move ESP, which raises an ally's special attack by four, crit by three, and applies gradual healing as well. Not a bad trainer move, especially because of its supportive potential uses, but of course you're probably going to use it on him, in which case he's got good self-sufficiency. So, not bad at all. Uh, he's also got chili, or classy chili reception. I think this is another move that's unique to Galarian Slow King, or the slow line or something, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, and then it's a two gauge move. It's a one use ability hits all enemies activation conditions when the circle is up So you need any circle not just Galar, but it's probably gonna be Galar frankly um, And then deactivations when there's no circle the move never misses it lowers enemy defense special defense and evasion by three Causes hailstorm applies the no stat increased effects to the opponent field of play applies the stat reduction defense effect to the eye field of play and returns the load stats lower stats of all allies to normal so its big focus is, of course, you know, helping ally, prevent ally stat debuffs and, you know, getting rid of stat debuffs and then lowering enemy defensive ability and evasion, right? So they get, they can get hit more and also causing hail. And it also makes it so the enemies cannot raise their stats, which is good. So all of this stuff is good. The, mostly the defensive stuff is good and the defensive debuffing. The hail is just kind of there, in my opinion. I don't, it, it functions in the rest of his kit, but like... In another team comp, I don't see much use in the hail outside of, like, literally probably Nita's ultimate battle, I guess. And, you know, some different gimmicks in the legendary gauntlet, I guess. Uh, but whatever. He's got the max move, max mindstorm, which applies psychic terrain to the eye field to play. And then max damage guard as well. Or sorry, max guard for da setting damage guard to an ally, which is pretty solid there. Um, and then med, it's pretty much it for the max move, so... 
Look at the passive skills. He's got set allied entire field effect free moves next nine. Applying free moves next to him whenever uh, if he activates a field effect on the allied field of play or the entire field of play. So that's kind of why all this stuff works here because he's got four different sets of a field effect. You can set psychic terrain once, you can set hail once, and he's got two uses of the circle. So that can give you up to four free moves next, which I guess if you're in a team with bad gauge, that is useful for his four gauge move, right? I think this is mostly just for the gauntlet because you're gonna be doing, you know, duos or solos anyway. Gauge might not be that great, so having gauge management abilities to preserve supports or whatever is better. Uh, but I mean, outside of that, I don't think there's too much use to this. He's got passive skills, hail, physical damage reduction three, which applies 30% uh, damage reduction, or physical damage reduction, I guess, whenever hail is in play. So he's got the special damage reduction with the circle, which is up to 14%, which is not that great, but then he's got 30% damage reduction for, you know, receiving physical attacks when hail's up. Frankly, this just continues to add to, like, the small niche, I guess, that he's got for Nita. I guess you couldn't call it a small niche, because I guess it's a real one, but still, like, um, I guess it's kind of, maybe that's what they're aiming for, I'm not sure, because the physical damage reduction is good for that, but I mean, just in general, physical damage reduction could be good, you do have to maintain having hail up, though, so that kind of limits your partners, or, you know, the upkeep of this passive if you're just going to let Avery set hail, because he's only got the one use of it here, right, at least that one out of five, and then team hail immunity protecting allies from hail damage and sandstorm, that, or sorry, that hail damage and a hailstorm, <laughs> duh, and that's that goes without saying, I guess. And that's mostly it. Of course, he's also field, so he sets psychic terrain via the sync move as well. So let's you know add that to the list. He's got five sets of uh, a, a different field effect, um, and that's mostly it. I mean, if it's just a weird kit, frankly, because they're trying to make him work with hail, though his hail does not synergize with kind of the rest of what he wants to do. If they were to just have replaced chili reception with frankly just something else, like don't make him work with hail. Get rid of the hail damage reduction based abilities. Just make him a good psychic, like, supportive character, right? Like, you could have made this, like, buddy eerie spell, which, like, debuffs defenses, or you could just do something else, right? And then the Galar analysis is good, setting ter psychic terrain with the max move and with the EX uh, sync move as well. That could have been good, but they tried to really make the hail gimmick work and as an in integral part of his kit, and I don't think it functions nearly as well as they want it to, just because I don't think he's going to function too well with hail partners in general. Like, he'll f probably work fine, like, he'll do something on the team, but that's a pretty low bar to consider. But, hey, maybe that's just me. So, whatever. Uh, yeah, that's a rate one out of five. I mean, he's still got the good utility, right? He can be a good, uh, special galler type of supportive character, right? He can do a little bit of damage with Eerie Spell. Um, do we have any special attacking psychic galler characters? I know we've got uh, Champion Bead, but... He's a support, despite the fact that he can do damage. No, we don't. We've just got uh, beat, and that's it. But, like, I guess we want, like, special attacking Galar options in general. I, I mean, you got Champion Marnie, right? You got the special side of Clara. Um, go down the list. Uh, yeah, and then you kind of just fizzle out, I guess, because most of the other stuff's not that great. I guess Sickness Suit Leon, sure. Regular Leon, Raihan. You know, special Galar is not the... Okay, sorry, I, I, I did overlook Pierce. You know, Pierce is good, right? I, I did forget that. Still, though, special Galar is not really, like, the best thing, and even if you do find a good special Galar character, they easily prefer someone ten times more over Avery. It's just Avery's just so unsynergistic, I guess, with so many other characters. You can make him work with other psychic characters, though. You know, if you don't want to try and maximize the Galar analysis, you could maybe run Champion Beat as your support, or any other Galar support, really doesn't matter. And then you can have Avery, and then you can have another psychic character. They could be getting powered up from the circle, the psychic terrain that Avery can set, you know, whatever else, I guess. But that's also got its own fair problems because his Nuka does not do too much damage, so you're kind of just sinking for psychic terrain. The max move is your only other set of psychic terrain, so you may be wasting damage there, or maybe that's just your only set of psychic terrain, really. Again, that's just got its own set of problems, too. So, again, this is where Avery's kit comes into being weird. You can make it work. Like, he can do some damage, I guess, with Avery's spell. And he can be supportive with Galar analysis. But outside of that, it's just odd. Right? Everything else is kind of just there. But whatever. Um, at 1 out of 5, is grid just as clear-headed. Sure. <laughs> 2 out of 5, uh, he gets circle uh, attack damage reduction, circle HP recovery, uh, re weird recovery. First time, half HP, he sets hail. Heavy hail to... Uh, trying to move NPR, I guess. Natural remedy, quick cure, you know, level super effective, precognition, whatever. 
so he's got a little bit of gauge stuff with precognition. He's got the damage reduction in the circle, which I think this is pretty good for the gauntlet, considering he's got damage reduction from the circle. He's got damage reduction from um, having hail set up with hail physical damage reduction here. So having extra damage reduction from the circle could be good and then combine that with weird recovery and circle hp recovery that's two sets of effectively gradual healing right so that could be good for some recovery maybe i'm thinking i don't know how it actually works in practice but like just in theory on paper it's not horrible again that's just mostly could talking about the gauntlet though like outside of that i don't think you're really considering these abilities all too much um and then precognition you know having gauge efficiency again mostly for the gauntlet that's it Training with NPR can be good if you're trying to make him the supportive type of character, right? Like, you don't want to bring a support that can max an ally stat, or you don't want to bring a support that gets dedicated to that role. Maybe you want to bring a support that just does something else. You can bring training with NPR, give an ally plus four special attack and crit, give Avery plus four special attack and crit, and I guess you're good to go, right? That's kind of how these training with NPRs work, and I think they could be good for that. Also, consider the fact he sets gradual healing on his training move, combine that with weird recovery and HP recovery on the circle, and he's got a lot of... Uh, you know, gradual recovery. Basically instant recovery at that point. Uh, he's got quick cure and natural remedy. Again, mostly gauntlet food. Heavy hail 2 for a 20% sync multiplier. That's not going to be great. Like 20% big whoop. Um, and then first time hail HP half. Or half HP hail, whatever. Causing hailstorm when you drop to half HP. You kind of don't really, You can't really control that. That's the thing. is You can't really play around with that too much because you can't control when it gets set. You just kind of have to figure out where you drop to below half in a battle and work with that. Like, you can't really... I guess you can potions and whatnot, but still... I, I don't know. It's not bad, of course, having another way to set hail so you can maintain the physical damage reduction passive here and whatnot and whatever other uses he gains from having hail up. You can still make use of that a little bit more because you have another set of hail and you don't have to worry about an ally having to set it or something like that. So it does provide some usage in that sense, just I'm not sure how well that works in practice. Again, just more gimmick to add to the already really fucking gimmicky character. Um, and at 3 out of 5, he has... Uh, Hail team moves up to Hail Alert 5, uh, Galar Analysis NPR, Brain Power, Circle Extension, Better, better Prepared, Sync Nodes, Max Countdown, and Max Power. The Max Power Node I wouldn't really consider picking up, but you know, you know it, it does help out with the power of Max Mindstorm, gives, makes it very strong. Duh. Max Countdown 2. I mean, just a little bit of Sync Acceleration could be helpful, could be not, could not, you know, just, just depends where you use it, how you want to use it. It, could, it. It's a basic node for pretty much all uh, max move characters, uh, Galar extension and Galar, uh, circle, sorry, well, Galar circle extension, Galar circle NPR, these, you know, are probably his best ways to maintain support, so you get that special moves next buffs from the NPR, you get to, uh, maintain f more, uh, duration of the circle alongside with NPR and the extension, so keeping up circle could be really, really useful depending on how you're trying to use him on a team, if you're trying to just keep that little support up then that is nice to try and probably get for those nodes. Uh, brain Power and Better Prepared 3. This is a 30% DPS move whenever no enemy enemy has no stat raises. Probably wouldn't really focus on picking this up. I think he's sad, sad as it is to say, I think this guy's mostly going to be focusing on his utility over his actual damage, which is already really weird. So I guess no pun intended with the psychic terrain or the psychic uh, character, but... 30% multiplier for the DPS, it is an option if you do want to go for it, though I would not say it's fantastic because it requires the enemies to have no stat raises, which means you will have to have, obviously, no stat raises on the enemy. Pretty much means you've already used your buddy move, you know, your hail's up, you got all that stuff, uh, you've already got all that stuff up, and you got the no stat uh, increase effect on the opponent's field of play. So now you're basically waiting for that to run out, and then the enemy's going to probably start buffing their stats again. So at that point, better prepared becomes useless. It's kind of like a ticking time bomb, right? You remove enemy stat buffs. I think. No, he doesn't even he doesn't even lower enemy stat buffs. Uh, he just lowers enemy defenses and evasion by three. So if the enemy has any of those stats or any stat that isn't those three raised by uh, any amount, this node effectively just becomes useless because he doesn't uh, lower enemy raised stats at all, other than the, the defenses and evasion. So even more reason to not pick a better prepared three because it's already hard to activate. <laughs> cool. Brain power, combine that with heavy hail, and he's got 120% nuking multipliers. It's like the same, it's kind of the same thing with Vola, but to a lesser extent, where they're really just not giving the multipliers and they're trying to focus on the utility side of things. I don't know why they would do that. You could have just given him heavy hail 9 or something, given him an actually decent sync nuke or worthwhile sync nuke. 
it wouldn't have hurt anything if you didn't want to, if you didn't want to nuke with him you just didn't have to i don't know why they're sacrificing the nuke for this 120 percent multipliers is not that fantastic he doesn't really have any other method to boost his nuke i guess besides circle and that's pretty much it so you're pretty much just stuck with that it's a fine nuke i guess you know if you really need a psychic terrain the extended psychic terrain setup again he can do it so sure uh, and then hail alert five extending hail this is pretty helpful if you're going to try and maintain hail for your physical damage reduction um the hail team moves up node here which gives 20 percent power to all allies moves that are attacking in a hail storm so this is where some more supportive stuff comes in on top of getting the special damage reduction or sorry special damage reduction and power up uh with the galar analysis circle here you're also getting a 20 percent power buff with the team hail or sorry hail team moves up fucking names of these things uh so he is got he's got good team supportive ability i guess from this and everything else already and that's where the hail alert maintains its use right maintaining its uh usability right i guess so you can have the hail usage from the chili reception you can have the hail from the uh first time he drops to half hp which let's hope he just doesn't drop to half hp like the moment you set up chili reception you're gonna have to play around with that figure out when he drops again half hp in battle maybe you have to use some potions here or there or some other way to maintain his hp at higher levels so that your hail doesn't activate too early or too late or something like that so it, it that's just another part is it's hard to play around when this node might you know tick right so that kind of messes with all three of these a little bit but i mean either way that's kind of why i'm saying aver is a really weird character is because he's trying to maintain you know the support ability with his circle the psychic terrain stuff as well and then he's also setting hail for whatever reason right and that doesn't even consider the fact that these might interfere with other team building right like they're trying to build avery kind of like a supportive ish character which generally you would want your supportive character to be versatile on what teams they can be run on but with avery you he's not going to be synergizing with anyone who wants grassy or electric terrain or just no terrain right or he and he's not gonna be synergizing with characters who want a weather effect other than hail or enemies that get powered up in hail or psychic terrain right which i don't think we have any ultimate battles specifically like that yet i don't i don't no thornton thornton said get powered up in hail i don't remember <laughs> by the way you get my point right like we do get some sort of ultimate battle that like really utilizes psychic and you know uh gets powered up in hail or something like that then <laughs> avery's you know ability i guess kind of goes down there uh not I, though i don't really know if that's worth much considering but hey it's up to you so it's all just weird man I, I don't know what i would even focus on on this kit that's the thing is like this kit still confuses me to this day is like what are you trying to focus on like the if i were to get avery i would honestly just be using him as gauntlet food because he's got great damage reduction ability with the circle uh the hail ability here he's got circle hp recovery circle attack damage reduction weird recovery right he's got all these abilities for recovery and defensive uh prowess so that's probably what i would use him for but like outside of that the stadium ultimate battles especially i'm just not really sure where i'd use them i guess the hail could be good for nita could be good for argenta annabelle you know those type of characters um the psychic terrain just powering up a psychic team i guess i i, I don't know it's just I, I, I just yeah man fun fun character whatever at four to five he gets impervious and uh hit attack and special attack down impervious for preparing stat debuffs could be good though hello he returns stats lowers stats of allies to normal on the move here so it's kind of I, I guess it could be good it, it could be i'm not gonna deny that and then hit attack and special attack down nine here lowering enemy attack and special attack by uh one set rank when the attack move is successful this just helps out with his defensive ability like what i was talking about earlier where i would mostly use him for like the gauntlet or something this just helps out his defensive ability and i do like that and it helps out team defensive ability right so like this i think could bleed into other areas you might want to use avery again ultimate battle stadium or whatever where he's got a quite a bit of good utility uh for team defenses again circle hail and the debuffs now right and also gradual healing if you want to give that to allies too just worth mentioning uh and then five out of five set allied uh entire field special moves up next one applying special moves next to all allies when a field effect uh attacking, affecting the entire field of play or the ally field of play is successful or whatever you know setting hail psychic terrain or uh, galar analysis it's going to be giving allies special moves next on top of the plus one special moves next they already get from a reusing circle just more supportive ability it's a pretty good node it's 
I don't think I need to go much into it. It could be good for just more general support for any special attacking team Avery's going to be on. And then max move team special defense down too. I don't think it's worth considering, but I mean, yippee, more damage, I, I guess. I would say, if anything, 5 out of 5 and 4 out of 5 are worth considering for these two nodes specifically. Impervious could be good, just depends on the battle mostly though. Uh, but hey, these, these nodes could be good. Still does not mean that his kit isn't weird though. Like, he's got some defensive utility he's got some supportive utility he's got some damage i guess he's got the field effect stuff it's just <laughs> it, it, i don't know how well it functions with him being uh in the role that he kind of plays it, it could be good though just really depends i don't know let me know what you think about avery let me know if you've got any ideas for how avery could work what team setups he could be good on down in the comments below you know you know give some general ideas people could use them maybe you know give a better idea of what Avery might be able to do before pulling him right. Um, I don't want to just have my ideas be the only ones that are put out there, at least not in this general area. I try and put your ideas out there. I, I, I want to hear them, see if maybe there is some good niche that Avery can fill uh, that could be useful, could be worth considering. Yeah, and uh, that's all I got. So yeah, I guess I'll see you all later. I'm not, I'm not gonna try and build a grid. It literally depends on what you wanna do. Do you wanna debuff? Do you wanna have defensive prowess? Do you wanna do a fucking gauntlet solo? Do you wanna provide support to your team? I've got no idea. <laughs> Figure that out. Um, yeah, again, I'll see y'all later. I hope you all enjoyed.